Hi, my name's Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Today I wanted to talk about parameter sweeping, having been inspired by what I saw in the corrosion patterns on the Marza uh, vibration plates. And I wanted to refer to uh, the work of Piantelli, to uh, the work of uh, Dr. Mizuno and to Cellani, uh, etc. However, I did think that if these are uh, changing so much, and we do know that Lena systems do change, um, you just have to look at Savatomova and our study of uh, echo fuel, um, these things are known to change, and so I wanted to capture maybe what was going on on this, uh, like right now, uh, by throwing it under the microscope, which I did. And uh, here is uh, the first plate to be taken out of its packaging and having uh, a quick look around on the microscope. And uh, I did what I normally do, which is start off by looking for any uh, potential strange radiation tracks. And uh, what I can say is uh, we did find uh, candidate tracks uh, like this one here. They're typically these kind of IMI tracks, but they, because of all of the uh, palladium and the specularity and so forth on here and, uh, and maybe some uh, crystallization of whatever uh, what's in here, the magnesium chloride, um, potentially, um, these are not as clear as they are on the uh, stainless steel plates uh, from the thrice run reactor. So there was a couple of examples I'll just uh, quickly show you here. Uh, and uh, these again, like we've got a kind of dual track uh, thing here, and uh, these uh, sort of IMA type tracks. But as I say, they're not very clear. I wouldn't really call them um, uh, uh, more here. Uh, and here's a much more uh, sort of periodic track. Um, and so I was looking at this one, and I thought, well, I wanted to see where this goes. Um, and uh, I saw this. So this is the tail end of that track coming up to here. And I thought, what on earth is going on here? Look at this. What is going on there? So I zoomed into it and I came up with this. Hello, what am I looking at here? So this was a bit fascinating for me uh, because I'd seen something similar to this before. And I'll come to that in a minute, but I just want to pop over to Photoshop here and uh, I tiled a bunch of these together, um, so you can see. And I'm going to zoom in and I'll share this image as usual. And uh, over here we've got a, a grouping. And you know what? These look like... They look a bit like explosion craters. And the sort of spraying out of the material that would have been in them. Well, how fascinating is that? Another one over here, this is like a, a multi-hit one. And if we travel all the way over here, we've got two points here. What is going on? There we go, we've got some other kind of sort of squidgy trail or something. Maybe that's a fibre that got trapped in there, probably. But uh, what is going on with this? Uh, now, I thought I'd seen something uh, before, and you might have caught a glimpse just a minute ago. Um, it was on the front of Mizuno's uh, pay, uh, book. Dr. Mizuno's book here. So these kind of like... Boo, boo, boo. These craters, or these explosion cones, or whatever they are, um, they, they do have a resemblance, I know. I'm not calling it, because I don't have any 3D on here. Now, I do have a little arm that I can put on uh, here on the microscope, and then I can rotate it left and right. So what I might do is try and capture one of these structures from a couple of different angles. But I thought until I do that, uh, just quickly with the time that I had, I thought I'd do something a little bit different uh, that might give us a, some idea of what the, the 3D structure is that's going on in here. And I also wanted to look at what it looked like under specular light to see what was in the crater. Well, this is what I did. Um, now, let me have a look. I'm just to uh, get the right frame up. So this is what it looks like uh, with the, just the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the polarizing filter on. So it just looks like a crater with the, the cone uh, around the outside. So let's have a closer look on that so you can see. And then if I uh, turn on, there's an ability on this uh, microscope here to turn on quadrants of lights. Uh, so, you know, around the sample. And I'm representing that here in this image. 
So if I go to the next frame, you can see I've turned on the top light, and this is with the polarizing filter off. Now if I go into that, what do you see? Can I get that in shot? So I've got, I've got the top light on, and we can see there's some kind of what looks like a sphere in the center of this sort of ejector, or just around this, there is a sphere. Now, let's go and see what happens if we turn the light on in the top right-hand corner instead. Well, there you go. Top left, top right. Is it slightly glassy? I don't know. Are we getting an internal reflection on this side? Is it like a, a glass specular reflection on the top? Specular reflection on the top and an internal reflection? Top left, top right, top left, top right. Now we're going to go bottom right, bottom right, top right, bottom right. Doesn't appear to be an internal reflection on this side. And then we go bottom left. This appears to be a bit masked by whatever this is. Uh, so bottom right, bottom left. And if I, if I come out, you can see I put a little symbol for where the spotlight is. So top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left, and all of them. So you can see with all of them, it really looks like a little metal sphere going on in there. So that's bottom, let's say top right, sorry, top left, top right, and here is all of them. Have we got a little sphere in the bottom of these kind of explosions that are causing these redding pits on this plate? What is going on? What is going on? Just simple, what you might think, just looking, oh yeah, it's a corrosion pit. I already know what it is just by looking at it. And then we look at actually what we're seeing and maybe something a lot more interesting is going on. So this is without any specular. Uh, and with the polarizing filter on so we don't get that specular glint but with the specular glint top left top right bottom right bottom left all oh. okay so you're gonna get to look at this uh, see what you think are we seeing something in these which are similar to what uh, Mizuno saw I don't know is it something similar like to be able to get it on the SEM. Thank you for your time.